all the rounds, yeah Nigga, we gunning them down, yeah Me and Fig, we have skirt off and whips And you know that we running the town, yeah, 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 yeah. Run up on me, mistake Chopper gon' leave you dead up in your grip Say you don't want me, I said okay I don't surf on no bitch, I'm creating a way Me and Fig are going crazy Yeah, she eat me up and she be saying I'm tasty Only go and dump me hard on these tracks Ain't no time for rest, ain't no time to relax Me and we don't fuck with our shit Fuck. They don't know the truth. Alright, let's jump right into it. Off the rip, he's just a young and misguided man. His whole entire life, he never really knew any amount of love. Because everything that he did know, he felt was fake because of what Itachi did. And not to spoil the whole series, but there's a huge plot twist. And it changes his whole belief. And throughout the series, you'll notice his character development and also his undying urge to just wreak havoc <laughs> for lack of better words but honestly i think he's a beautifully written character and i'm gonna tell you why the reason why i feel like he's a wonderful character is because at the end of the day his progression is shown perfectly throughout the whole entire story and i'm not gonna sit up in here and obviously tell the entire story because we don't have time for that but at the end of the day just know that he goes from somebody who was lost to somebody who was found and i think that's very very admirable the whole premise of the show really is about believing in yourself and believing in a cause that's bigger than you and achieving your goals no matter what and i think that he is such a good character because he shows that even when you mess up in life you can still make things happen for yourself that's the whole reason why I'm making this video is because, and honestly why I watch anime is because it just, there's always a deeper message to every single show. It's not just cartoons. Like people think it's from a surface level point of view. It's just like, oh, it's just cartoons and people are fighting and blah, 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 whatever the case may be. Science fiction type shit. But I'm telling you, it's so much bigger than that. So much bigger than that. But yeah, back on Sasuke's topic, man. He's just a very, a very lost young man. He seems all over the place if you watch the entire series. And you know, well, you know his full entire character. Even leading up until Borzo, the sequel. He's just all over the place. Like, if something happens, then he, he's going this way. And then if another thing happens, he's going this way. And if another thing happens, he's going that way. It's just very interesting because he's always changing his mind. Like, he's not very stable. And that's what I think is a very distinct difference between him and Naruto is because Sasuke is always changing his mind about different scenarios of where he's trying to go with his life. But Naruto stayed on the same consistent path and kept being himself no matter what happened. So it's just it's very interesting. Because some, a lot of people like to argue, especially my friends, that like, oh, you know, Sasuke is stronger than Naruto and he always has been. And it's like, nah, not really, if you look at it from an outer point of view. Because, yeah, he may be a new Chiha and he has a Sharing Gun, but at the end of the day, Naruto worked his ass off for what he has. I'm not saying Sasuke didn't, but also, he's just, he's learned more because he's allowed himself to be open to more people. It's just, it's very interesting. It's very interesting. 
He's a very close character, but I appreciate him. I really do. Because I feel like a lot of TV shows, especially, you know, because the reason why I'm saying this is because TV shows have so much influence on people. Because I started watching Naruto when I was a kid. Like, I was like 10 years old, 9 years old when I started watching Naruto. So I've been watching it for a very long time. And I really don't like how in a lot of different shows, they just mostly, they mostly show the almost fantasy side of people to where it's like everyone is so good and everyone is so nice and it's just like life is just so perfect you know and it's just that's not how it is it's not how it is and going into depth on this character he's a very fucked up person mentally and i have to say it just like that and honestly it's very interesting to me it really is because you can see that he's depressed. You can see that he's mad. You can see that he hates his life. But then at the same time, he loves it because he knows he's moving forward. It's very interesting. But all in all, to wrap this up, I believe that Sasuke, honestly, is a great example of what you shouldn't do with your life. No matter how angry you get, no matter how mad you are at the world, you can't allow your actions to be controlled by how you feel.